All right, let's continue on. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? You both seemed so, so confident. Ha! Huh. Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too! The dead? Ho oh, ho, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. We're right, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I could have gone through that. Oh well, whatever. Do, do, save, not that it matters. That was a close one, huh, me? Really? Too bad, I'm sorry I missed it. Mamaya! So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new Kurt 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 system? Kurt system. They're very. It's a very rude system. It's just so short and ah, I don't like it. They introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. That was Phoenix, not Maya speaking. All right. Uh, I, do we have to go to the detention center? I don't. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to Powers. Why not? Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. You could stop looking so vulnerable, too. Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yeah. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Ha ha ha. I'm not really sure what I can do, either. Please, this is no laughing matter. I'm freaking the hell out. Actually, we should talk to him. Talk about producer Vasquez. Could you tell me more about Miss Creepyface? Oh, the producer? She's well-respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? N nothing. Forget it. I I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Well, she can enlighten me. Tell me. Rumors can be truth, you know. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. Something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She bought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I'm pretty sure we all knew the name Sal Manella much before. Much, much before. Has something to do with raw chicken. Our hearing's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, yes, how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Hammer, what about him? I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago? Huh. So Miss Vasquez came at the same time that Jack Hammer, hmm, gave up. That's interesting. Let's go to the main gate again. Oh dear, not you again. Oh well, we gotta talk to you anyway. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. Phew, she's alive! Let's talk about the same thing we talked about. Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bizwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. She 
seems evil. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Really? Hmm, that's interesting. Can I ask you about Salmonella, director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Oh, he likes it that way, huh? Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. Let's talk about Mr. Hammer, since it's pretty much your favorite topic. Well, Mr. Hammer. Arg! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. Run! Run! You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Paris' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. So you say. Alright. We got more to check out. I don't think there's anyone out here. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. No, I don't think so. But maybe. You never know. No, I don't. I want. I didn't. Oh, wait, we can't get his. Oh, dear. It's you. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello. H E L L O. H E L L O. Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. I don't think we can talk to her yet. I, I know we have to, but I don't think we can get anything from her for now. Just go in the trailer. And I don't think there's anyone in here, but if there is, we need to talk to them. Was the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Okay. I think we have to talk I think we have to go to Salmonella before we go to Vasquez. I don't remember. I can't go into Studio One, unfortunately. So that rules that out. Okay, employee area. The assistant might be in here. I don't think so. I guess they're not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching! Eek! What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, yes, I did. Didn't mean I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little traumatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine that plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Alright, let's talk to him. Let's talk about the plate. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to sleeping pills, see? There are traces it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright. So there were sleeping pills on the plate. Looks like it. Okay, awesome. Let's talk about the investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers, and some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. And why is that? How's Edgeworth doing, anyway? Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Impressive. Cups? Bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... 
Yep, it sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Cool. So that's all we need there. Let's go into the dressing room. So I'm pretty darn sure... Oh, you're here. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode of Steel Samurai. What? No! My life is over! Oh. Oh. Shut up. That's unfortunate, but why? Why don't they make it the last episode? Let's talk about Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? So let's talk about five years ago. An accident five years ago? Yes, in Studio 2. That trailer there was part of the film set. Could you tell us what happened? S sorry, I don't think I can. They really don't want us to talk about it. Well, thanks for building up all the drama just to say you can't do it. Alright. What do you mean, the last steel samurai? What do I do with myself? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Well, that's studio policy, then. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio bigwigs don't want Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Oh, yeah. Path to glory. And this is... A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I don't think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Alright. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. So someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything for Miss Vasquez asked him to. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Alright. So we got some news. Apparently someone died in Studio 2. Interesting. And Miss Oldbag knows something about it. Why, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. She's gone rabid quick. We have to put her down. Uh, let's 
talk about five years ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Nichols. Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant we talked to. Oh, alright. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed the man, didn't he? Whipper snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. No, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I have proof. I'm sorry, Ms. Oldman, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping powder on the plate. Huh? Ha! I, I bet Powers put it in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer, rest your soul. Miss Oldback? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldback? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took photo of it. That photo? Well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, Coral Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldag. Here, take this. A photograph? Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But, but how did you get this? It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Alright. Only thing left to do is talk to Vasquez. And then take this to court. So alright, I have to end the video here unfortunately. But I will however move to outside Studio 1, so I can move immediately to Studio 2. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.